there is an art to hanging art well. Artist Julia Veenstra joins us now with her favorite tips on how to show off your pieces. Good morning to you. Good morning, Annette. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. You've got so many great examples here. I want to jump right into it. So let's go to the bedroom. Lot to cover. Pardon? <laughs> let's go to the bedroom. Let's do it. Okay, so how do you, um, I, I guess, knowing what size of art to put over your bed, your headboard? Okay, so we're gonna, I think you've got a couple of examples. If it's a king size bed, what I would advise is just coming in a couple of inches, four to five inches from each side. And you see about four inches from the headboard to the artwork. Mm -hmm. Don't hang your art way too high. Cluster it all together so that it's a unit. So it almost looks like part of the headboard then. It does, it does. And then here is a king's, uh, queen size bed. So same thing, I've gone, you know, four to six inches in between. And then we're echoing too some fun colors. And I wanna talk about colors and, and all your choices when, uh, as as the morning goes by here. Okay, you also wanna talk about, and I think this is a problem a lot of people have. If you've, got, if you've got paintings or you've got artwork framed in different sizes, how do you do it? But there's, you can either line up the top or yeah. line up the middle. Yes, so in this section, I, this little selection, I've treated them as one unit and I've lined up the middles and the, you know, the sides. Mm -hmm. so, but I, and I've clustered them only a couple of inches apart and that treats that as one unit. So it's a little collection, one unit. Here is a collection of all sorts of little things, but I've lined up the middle. So it kind of keeps that line going up and down. Okay, and then we've got another one here. Uh, so these two paintings, you've, you've lined them up at the top. So these two paintings I've lined at the top, but this is where I've gone wrong, Annette. What should I have done, do you think? Uh, should you have lined them up with the door frame or lined them up higher than the door frame? So the door frame is a great, um, the, a great eye. I didn't actually notice that, but what I would have done or what I will do is move the one with the pink flowers down a little bit. Because if you're standing okay, actually, yep. room, you, have to tilt, you have to tilt your head up to look at it. So here's an example of lining up the tops, but it doesn't quite work. So I would line up the middle or I would add a, another image down at the bottom. So this is in the same room. So all the tops are lined up. So if I wanna keep that, I'll put something underneath that floral painting to make that work throughout the whole room. Okay, and then I think the last one that we have is, is kind of a more of a lining up things in the center. Yes. If we can go to that picture, I don't know if we have that picture. <laughs> if not, Wait. moving right along, let's uh, let's talk about starting a gallery wall because we have one of these. Uh, staircases are a great spot for a gallery wall. Staircases are a great place, and it's great if you do a gallery wall. You can add to your collection. So here I've started with twelve by twelves from all sorts of different artists, and I'm simply going to line them all up and fill that wall. And as I've started at the far right, and I'm kind of breathing and living into the, the larger space and I can add as much art as I want. And I like that you didn't wait until you had all the pieces together before you start decorating your walls like that. That's 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 a great thing. I also like that's that you nice. you you hang collections of things. So it's not necessarily paintings. You you use purses because they're so full of color. Yeah, anything can be art. So if you're if you're practicing that gallery wall, use your stuff. This is my closet and my husband, you know, painfully put in all those knobs and was quite grumpy about it. But hey, <laughs> it doesn't it look good. <laughs> it looks awesome. So tell your husband how awesome it looks. We've, uh, I've been told we've got about a minute left. Let's talk about okay. large scale paintings then. What do you do with them? So I'm a big advocate of go big or go home. Fill that space. So here this space by um, Ontario artist Laurie Meebor is right in the middle of that wall. Um, about 60 inches to the center, like my eye is about the center of that painting, and it fills it, go big or go home. A lot of people make the mistake of having too small of pieces. Mm -hmm. Here's This was a big expanse that we needed to fill, and I had this huge painting by Paula White Diamond, another Ontario artist, and doesn't it look great? That looks and awesome. Here's my last tip, since we only have a minute. Buy art because you love it. You have an innate color sense, and when you buy only art and in all of your things, your pillows, your blankets, everything, if you buy it because you love it, it will all go together. It you don't all need goes to worry together. About 
because it tells your story, right? And you've, you've got lots more tips on your social media as well. Julia, thank you. It's, it's such an honor to have you on our show and, and giving off great tips and showing off your great artwork as well. So uh, well, it's so fun to be here and let's, let's support Ontario and Canada artists. Let's do that. Okay, we'll get the uh, information to your socials up on our website, chch.com.